Hey guys, welcome back to day two of our finals review. Today we're going to talk about ratios, proportions, and percents, and then we're also going to talk about unit rates. So again, make sure you have your Google Slides pulled up. If you're not following along with that, I think you're going to feel a little bit lost since my screen share isn't working. All right, and again, you can take your Google form as many times as you need to. Just make sure that you're actually reviewing and um, I don't think just taking it a hundred times without reviewing is going to be too helpful. All right, so first we're going to talk about unit rate. So remember to find unit rate, we're going to divide. So in our example, we have mom spent $11 for four packages of cookies. If you're wondering where I'm getting that, it's on the Google slide. So if you don't have that pulled up, you're going to want to pause this and pull it up so you can follow along. Just have the video and the Google slide side by side. Okay. All right. So to find essentially what we're looking for is how much money did she spend? Remember that line means per, per package of cookies. So how much money per package? So we're just going to divide 11 divided by four. And remember that we're always going to put our top number under the division sign. Okay, 11 divided by 4. So 4 goes into 11 two times. 2 times 4 is 8. We're going to subtract. We're going to annex a decimal. As soon as you put your decimal here, bring it up. Put a 0. Please do not use calculators today. I want you to work these out. All right. 4 goes into 30 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract, we have a 2. Bring down our 0. And 4 goes into 20 5 times. So she spent $2.75 per package. Now, this is the correct way to label it, but today on your Google form, if you just put $2.75, it will count it correctly, okay? But you could also put per package, just so you know. All right, let's do another example of that. We've got 585 miles in nine hours. So what we're looking for is how many miles per hour. So we wanna know how many miles per hour. So we're going to divide 500 85 divided by 65. Now you're going to end up having to do some math kind of out to the side, but you can do a reasonable guess, right? We can kind of say, well, if this was 60 and this was 58, about how many times? And it's going to be 9 exactly, but you probably would have to do some work off to the side. So we've got 9 miles per hour is our final unit rate. So unit rate, you guys, you're just dividing, okay? All right, percents. Remember that percent means out of 100. So if we wanna change a fraction to a percent, if it means out of 100, the easiest way to change a fraction to a percent is to change it so that it has a denominator of 100, so that it is in fact out of 100. So 1 fourth, we're gonna ask ourselves, four times what equals 100? And that's 25. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So one times 25 is 25. So now we have 25 out of 100, which is 25%. On your Google form today, it's going to remind you, you need to put the percent sign. If you don't, it's going to count it wrong. So make sure you put that percent sign. Okay? Same thing for a decimal. And you'll only have fractions where you can change them so that the denominator is 100. Remember, we can divide, but you don't have to do that on your final, and you don't have to do it on your Google form today. So the other thing is our decimals, all right? So we wanna know 57 hundredths 
What person is that? So our tenths, these are our tenths. Our tenths become our tens. And our hundredths become our ones. So that would be 57%. So I think the only thing that gets tricky is here is remember like if we have a zero in the tenths place, we have to have a zero in the ones place, in the tens place, sorry. So this is only 7%, right? We don't have anything in the tenths, so we don't have anything in the tens. We just have a seven in the ones place. So just keep that in mind today, all right? So we have a couple practice problems. Let's go through these together. Same thing, we're just changing our fraction to a percent. So we've got 18 out of 20. Hopefully you're following along on the Google side. Percent means out of 100, so we need to change this to hundreds. So automatically make that denominator 100. Then ask yourself, how do I go from 20 to 100? And I do that by multiplying by 5. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Okay? And 18 times 5 is 90. So that is 90%. Alright? And then we have 7 tenths. Same thing. We're going to change our denominator to 100. 10 times 10 is 100, 7 times 10 is 70, so that is 70%, okay? So that's changing a fraction to a percent. Again, you don't have to divide, so that's good news. All right, on these, next slide, we're changing these decimals two percents okay oh and I already did this one all right so our tenths becomes our tens our hundredths becomes our one so this number 58 hundredths is 58 percent here I only have tenths so that becomes our tens and technically there's a zero here Right, and this is 7 tenths, or we know we can also make it 70 hundredths, so it's 70%. Here, we don't have anything in our tens, so there's no tens. But we have a 7 in our hundredths, so it's just 7%. Okay, so that's changing decimals to a percent. You'll have to do that on your Google form and on your final. Don't forget your percent sign. It will count it wrong. Now we're kind of going to do the reverse, all right? And we're going to change our percent to a decimal. So it's just the exact opposite. We're going to make our tens our tenths and our ones our hundredths, all right? So in our tenths, we have a six. In our tens, we have a six. So in our tenths, we're going to have a six. In our ones, we have a seven. So in our hundredths, we're going to have a seven. Same thing here. In our tens, we have a nine. So in our tenths, we have a nine. In our ones, we have nothing. So in our hundredths, we have nothing, which is the same as this. So on your Google form, it'll count any of those answers right. Or if you put a leading zero, it'll count that right as well. Okay? On this last one, we don't have anything in our tens, so it's very important that we put a zero in that tenths place. And then we have a five in our ones, so a five in our hundredths, right? Five hundredths, five percent. And when you think about this meaning out of a hundred, so it means five out of a hundred, right? Five hundredths, five hundredths. Same thing here. Ninety hundredths, ninety hundredths. Same thing here. Sixty-seven, because it means out of a hundred. Sixty-seven hundredths, sixty-seven hundredths. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have questions. All right. Last thing you're going to have to do on today's Google form. 
is you have to find the percent of a number. Do not give your answer with a percent of, of a number as a percent, okay? Remember, we've talked about this. So in our example, we have 30% of 80. So for instance, here's what that means in real life. That means if I have 80 people in a room and I tell you that 30% of them have blue eyes, I wanna know how many people have blue eyes. So we're not giving our answer as a percent. So here's how you find the percent of a number. You change your percent to a decimal. 30% as a decimal is 0 .30, 30 hundredths or three tenths, either way. And then you're going to multiply 80 times 0 .30 or just 0 0.3, okay? That's easier to multiply by. Three times zero is zero. Three times eight is 24. Now remember, count right, move left. So 24 is your answer. You can put 24.0 or 24, same thing. Okay, let's do these practice problems together. We want to know what's 25% of 48. Okay, so we're going to change our percent to a decimal, 0.25. And then we're going to multiply 48 times 0.25. We're not using a calculator. Sorry. All right, five times eight is 40. Two zero, carry the four. Five times four is 20, plus four is 24. Now we're gonna put our placeholder zero. Two times eight is 16, carry the one. Two times four plus one is nine. Now we add zero, zero, 12. Count right, one, two numbers to the right of decimal points move left one two so our answer is 12 or if you put all those zeros that's fine same thing still means 12 okay all right let's just do one more 33 percent of 100 we should be able to do that one in our head Anytime you do a percent of 100, because it means out of 100, whatever the percent is, it's, your answer is just that number. So 33% of 100 is 33. Or 53% of 100 is 53. So we're going to do 70% of 15. So we're going to change our percent to a decimal. So 70 hundredths or 7 tenths. 7 tenths is easier to multiply by. You don't have to worry about losing track with all those zeros. 7 times 5 is 35, carry your 3. 7 times 1 plus 3 is 10. Count right, one number to the right of the decimal point, move left, and your answer is 10 and 5 tenths. All right, guys, let me know what questions you have. Math help is at 1 o'clock, and it is called Math 1. See you tomorrow.